Hello friends and welcome back to a new studio vlog. Um, I have again <laughs> not been very good at filming for the past week or so but I have been very productive. Um, I have designed two notebooks that I ordered for my shop update. They're gonna be pocket notebooks and they're gonna be gridded. I'm so excited. You will see them arrive at some point during the studio vlog, hopefully. Um, actually for sure, because I'm not gonna post the studio vlog until I do my shop update, so. I designed um, some notebooks that were kind of inspired by the field notes notebooks that they did, the collection that they did a while back that's like, American landscapes, but it's not American landscapes. It's like my art, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I also designed some recipe cards. Um, last night, I finally finished the Calpico Bakery painting that I have I sketched like last month. I finally finished it. I've been so productive. I've also been very bad at taking care of myself. Um, yesterday, I worked a 12 and a half hour day. Um, and then I, I stopped working and then um, I got sidetracked trying to set up a uh, email uh, that actually has my domain name, you know, instead of a Gmail account uh, and getting it to work with a uh, new newsletter, <laughs> a new newsletter system. I'm switching away from MailChimp, mo moving away from Intuit. Oh my god, so exciting. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna hopefully be trying to work on that today. Uh, I also need to be uh, packing my goodie bags, but my stickers haven't arrived. I have been ordering my sticker sheets from Awesome Merge and they don't send out a tracking number. I don't know why, <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, they, they, they said that they mailed it out and then they didn't give me a tracking number and I think next month I'm gonna try a different manufacturer because this no tracking number business is really frustrating um and also the sticker sheets are not going to come in time so my goodie bags are going to be a little bit delayed um but you will still get some yummy goodie bag packing footage in the studio vlog when they arrive in the meantime we are working very hard on making the next goodie bag and also working on the shop update i made out a little list i've got really so every shop update i get really stressed um about not having enough stuff for the shop update. But I wrote out a list yesterday and my list is already so long. <laughs> so I feel less bad, which is good. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my very fast update. We're getting right into the studio vlog. I need to start streaming in like a minute. I'm currently charging my Apple Pencil. Oh, also I got a grip, wait. My Apple Pencil is charging, so I have the old generation, so it looks really dumb. But I got a grip for my Apple Pencil. I don't know if I talked about this. Um, I, I have been getting a lot of hand cramps in my hands. And I don't know why, because I didn't used to, but um, lately for the past like two months, I've been getting really bad hand cramps, like right here in my thumb. And I finally got a grip for my Apple Pencil, and now it doesn't hurt anymore, which is really nice. Um, but the other thing is that my iPad keeps overheating and it's very annoying and um, I kind of want to get a drawing tablet. I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted to get one of those like fancy PC drawing tablets that you draw in like CSP with or Photoshop, but I don't have Photoshop. Um, it's very tempting. I've been thinking about it a lot. <laughs> I don't have the money for it, but you know, it's so tempting. All right, I need to, uh, I need to set up for sure. Hopefully my Apple Pencil has charged enough, uh, and I will see you soon. <laughs>
Little update. Today is Tuesday. Um, the 19th. Is that correct? Yes. It's Tuesday the 19th. I just got something so fun in the mail. <laughs> um, I wanted to make notebooks. So I designed these two notebook covers. Um, I don't think I really talked about them, but I really wanted to do something kind of inspired by the Field Notes National Parks. Uh, pocket notebooks, um, which are basically these beautiful <laughs> pocket notebooks that Field Notes makes that um, are, I think they're limited edition, and they have like beautiful uh, illustrations of American national parks, and so I was kind of inspired by that. Obviously these are not national parks, <laughs> these are my own drawings, but this is the first one. It is um, a little tulip field, and I really wanted the designs for both my notebooks to wrap around the back. So if you like unfold them completely, it's a full illustration. But of course, this is the front and this is the back. This one in particular is inspired by um, the tulips in, in Canada because I have been missing my home quite a bit. And uh, uh, we have a lot of tulips in Ottawa. And one of my favorite tulips in Ottawa is the uh, Canadian flag tulip. I don't know if it has like a pro I'm sure it has a proper name, but it was engineered to look like a Canadian flag. So I have them like sprinkled throughout the illustration, like here and here. I'm so proud <laughs> of this notebook. I think it's so cute. Um, I had them done by Awesome Merch and um, they're quite cute. They are graph paper on the inside. My one gripe, all right, my one gripe with these is that the graph paper does not line up. If you look closely, you see how like the graph of this page does not line up with the graph of this page? This is infuriating to me. I don't know why they did this. I don't know why they couldn't line it up because um, when I make my at-home little notebooks for my traveler's notebook, uh, when I did that last year, I could get the dot grid to line up. So, you know, if you're a manufacturer in the future, <laughs> please line these graphs up why are they not lined up okay anyway um that is going to bother me but it's fine i'm still very proud i think it's very cute i have not tested the paper out yet to see if it works well with fountain pen i feel like i should probably figure that out but it's so cute it's so little it like fits in your pocket i'm so proud and then the other notebook design that i had was kind of lo-fi album cover inspired. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, so I have this little bunny looking up at a bunny moon. Um, I draw all my moons as bunnies. I don't know if, if that's like a very obvious recurring theme in my work, but that's based off of a Chinese myth. Um, it's based off of the Harvard Moon Festival, Harvest Moon Festival uh, myth with Chang'e uh, because uh, in the myth, she has a bunny and the bunny lives with her on the moon. So I've always drawn my moons as bunnies because I really like that story. And I think it's really cute. I think it turned out really adorable. Um, on the back, it again is a wraparound illustration. So if you open it all the way up, um, you can see on the back, it's the little bunny's bedroom. Which I think is really cute. Uh, the only thing, <laughs> A lot of these notebooks, um, because the design is a window frame and it was designed to be perfectly centered in on the front cover, uh, as you can see, this one was made well. A lot of the notebooks that I got, they are cut slightly off. Let me, let me find one, wait. This one's fine. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna notice. Between these two, do you see how how this one, the window is not centered on the front page. But this one, the window is centered. This is how it's supposed to look. This is not how it's supposed to look. It, it, it does bother me that the window is not centered, which means that I, I've gone through and sorted them already, um, which I'm gonna have A grade and B grade notebooks available in my shop when I do the update. Uh, it'll be updated by now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do A grade and B grade, um, and there's a significant, uh, there's there's significantly more B grade notebooks than A grade notebooks, which is unfortunate. But now I know, at least if I try to use this manufacturer again, um, not to do a design like this that has like a centered thing, you know, because 
why did I gotta cut it off? Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm just a perfectionist. And on the inside of the notebooks, I also have this little cute little gingham print uh, inside cover where you can write your name or like some details if you would like. And then the rest is just graph paper. And I think it's so cute. I'm so proud, even though, even though a lot of these are cut off. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm really happy with them. I think they're really cute. Um, the colors did print a little bit darker than I thought that they would print. But you know what? It's fine. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's my update. I am going to, uh, I was working on making some clay, clay goodies. Uh, earlier because I want to reopen clay commissions in my shop uh, for like little clay charms and now they're cooling and I'm gonna work on the patreon uh, illustration print for next month I'm trying to get all the patreon stuff out of the way I felt really proud of myself yesterday because I got the patreon sticker sheet done really early um, so that's nice and now I'm gonna work on the print I would like to finish all of the patreon stuff today or tomorrow so that I can spend the rest of this week and next week working on a shop update. I'm so excited. I have so many things. Also, I still have recipe cards that are coming um, and I have my drink water sticker. I don't remember if I showed this to you all, but look at my drink water sticker. It's so cute. Froggy and Bee are coming, coming to bring you water. They're cute little ice cubes. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. I hope the shop update goes well. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> just finished the last sticker for my patreon goodie bag for next month this is a little foraging farm basket thing very much inspired by stardew valley there's a little junimo hidden in the basket um i think it turned out quite cute i am also oh my god i am trying to learn how to use tiktok i feel like such an old person i hate short form video content so much. I don't enjoy it at all, but Instagram is a piece of poop right now. And I am so worried that I'm not gonna be able to grow my business um, and that like, I'm gonna have to give up. <laughs> I've been having a lot of self doubt lately because oh, Instagram is my biggest platform, baby. And, and, uh, nothing gets shown to my followers anymore. A decent post can get maybe 500 likes, which is so small compared to the amount of followers that I have, and it's really frustrating. And yeah, so I made a TikTok. I don't know, maybe it'll grow, maybe it won't grow. Who friggin' knows? But I tried making a TikTok for this drawing process, kind of. It was really confusing, and I don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> But yeah, why does social media, why, why social media, why? Why does it have to be like this? Um, yeah, but I have pretty much now, I have finished all of the goodies for next month's Patreon goodie bag, which is really exciting because now I can spend the rest of this week and next week working on the shop update. Uh, yeah, I think Today, I'm just gonna keep working on stickers. I'm in a good, like, drawing mood. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully I get a lot done this week because this weekend uh, we are going to some kind of tulip thing. Alan's parents are taking us. I'm really excited because I love tulips with my entire heart. Um, they are my favorite flower. They remind me of home, they remind me of Canada. And I am so excited and hopefully I will not be stressed when we go 
and it, it'll be good, you know? All right. Hello friends, happy Monday. Um, I had a really nice weekend. We went to Alan's parents' house. I went to see a lot of tulips, so that's what uh, you saw earlier. Uh, those tulip clips. <laughs> They're so pretty. Um, but yeah, I so I painted this last week, this farm illustration, and I ended up deciding I wasn't very happy with it. Um, there's parts of the composition that I didn't really like. I don't like that it's cut, like... It's so like half half halvesies. I don't like that. I think I don't know. There was just something about it felt really off. So I actually ended up last night deciding to redraw this farm concept. The things that I liked the best about this farm drawing, I thought I would talk you through it. The things I liked best were I liked having the um the layers of the background and the foreground with the little animals in the back and then the like step forward for all of the extra elements and I really liked my cow I love my round cow I think it's a perfect little round cow I also really liked um, the way that I drew it wait let me actually I'll open it I really liked the way that I drew um, this little interaction of the of my little bee jam the bee and guap the froggy they're harvesting tomatoes um, with the little tomato harvest situation here. These are cherry tomatoes because they're very small critters, but I really liked this interaction of the bee, like kind of really struggling, and then um, Froggy, like also kind of struggling <laughs> to pull the tomatoes off the, the vine. I thought it was really funny. Um, and then I wasn't super happy with the way that this turned out. I feel like it didn't look right. I also, this was my first time trying to really do dappled light in uh, any art piece and I think I was very hesitant about it and also it doesn't it didn't really make sense because there aren't there isn't anything to cause the light to dapple because usually dappled light is from like tree shadows <laughs> so I decided to redo it okay and I've finished the redraw I started last night and I finished it and I am so happy with it Oh my god. So I was inspired by these beautiful cherry trees that are in my neighborhood right now because it's cherry blossom season. And so I decided to do I decided to do a big pink tree. I'm not usually one for drawing these types of fluffy trees, but I played a lot with my gouache brush and um, the soft airbrush brush and a lot of uh, Gaussian, 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 blur play a lot with that to make the tree look right. I think the tree turned out pretty good. And I made um, a strawberry cow or a cherry blossom cow. I'm not sure which one, but I liked the idea of doing a little bit of a pink cow in the background. And then and then I feel like this experiment in dappled light was much better. You can see the like, I feel like it's a lot more believable because the light is coming through the tree and it's creating all these cool like highlights and you still have you still have Jam the Bee really struggling with this strawberry that's much too big for him but I decided that to make I decided to make Wakwa struggle a little bit less with uh with their strawberry because I thought the strawberry would be pretty like decent size for guagua to be picking. I felt like it made more sense than the cherry tomato, even though now that I think about it, I think cherry tomatoes are actually similar size to strawberries. But anyway, yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I brought out the the blue of this little blue chicken, uh, a little nod to Stardew. <laughs> I brought out the blue of the blue chicken with this blue um, little gingham handkerchief that they're using to collect the strawberries. I'm so happy with this. I feel like you can see a lot of movement in it. I feel like you can see um, a lot of like the light stuff. I'm I'm really proud. <laughs> this is going to be the print for next month's Patreon and I'm so happy with it. Oh my god. I was really stressed because I so I had made I made this sticker sheet that I was really proud of and I made this little sticker the Junimo like farm basket sticker that I was also really proud of and then this one I was just so like 
I was so eh about it. I was so mad about it. And I didn't want to send people my, like, stuff that I was mad about, you know? So I ended up redrawing it, and I'm so glad I did because this is so cute. I'm so happy. It's so pink. Um, <laughs> I'm so proud of it. And, yeah, um, so that's what I've been working on. And now it is, so it's, it's, it's May, no, it's April 25th. I really need to work on the shop update now that the Patreon stuff is completely finished. Um, I have a couple sticker sheets I want to finish. I also, I drew this little sticker while I was um, at Alan's parents' house. I think it turned out pretty cute. There's so many trains today. It's 11 o'clock. Um, yeah, but I have, you can see, I have some sticker sheets I need to work on, but I'm pretty excited about it. I have a lot of stuff that's coming out um, for the shop update, so that's really exciting. And then also, on Friday, I received the kindest care package ever. I didn't film myself opening it, which I probably should have, but I, got, I received the kindest care package ever from one of my patrons who um, heard that I was interested in trying a Hobonichi in one of my videos and sent me a Hobonichi. Oh my god. And also sent me Maynards because they're Canadian. They sent it from Canada. They sent me Maynards, which are like this um, gummy candy. They're so good. Uh, but but I started using my Hobonichi and look, 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 I think it's so cute. It's so cute. I'm so happy with it. And I'm going to be using it as my planner now. So yeah, anyway, I thought I would, uh, I thought I would, I would mention that I was given, gifted this and I am so happy and thank you again so much to the person who sent this to me. I appreciate this so much. Okay, okay, I'm going to go back to work. Excuse the current no makeup situation, but I am just here to close out this studio vlog. Um, I have been working really, really hard for the past, you know, whatever, however long uh, to get the shop update out and ready. And it, it should be up now. <laughs> No, at the time of this video, um, I did get distracted uh, on Monday. I went to the container store and I reorganized all of my shelves. Look at it. Look at my shelves. Um, I was really unhappy with the way that my shelves were looking um, and the organization for just uh, order fulfillment and getting to my art supplies and stuff like that. So I ended up reorganizing everything. Um, and I like how it looks so much better, and I also think it's a lot more functional, but I did reorganize until one in the morning on Monday, and so this week has been kind of a blur. I'm still recovering <laughs> from the lack of sleep from Monday, which is completely my own fault, but here we are. Um, yeah, so, shop update. It's up now, it should be up now. I have two little new notebooks, which you've already seen me talk about. My notebooks, I'm so proud of them. I think they're so cute. I also have, look at these, adorable friggin' recipe cards that I designed. So, 
Um, they're little recipe cards. They're based off of my character Kalpako, who is a baker cat, and she loves to bake cat-shaped things. And the idea was kind of that like Kalpako would eventually expand her little bakery into a full-fledged business with like baking merch. <laughs> and one of the baking merch is um, recipe cards, of course, right? That makes sense. So I have two designs and um, they ha they all have back, so they all have like a directions page on the back, and the front has um, the, you know, the standard ingredients, notes from the kitchen of, etc. Just with little Calpico stuff, you know? And you get them in a pack of 10, so five of each design, and they're gonna be, I think, um, I haven't listed them yet, but I think they're gonna be $8. Uh, but by the time this video comes out, they will be listed. But yeah, so I have those. I have a bunch of new stickers. I have a new glitter sticker. This one, don't forget to drink water. I also restocked the self-care sticker, the um, take care of yourselves, take care of yourself or else glitter sticker because that's been sold out for a bit. I bought, I got 20 more, 25 more stickers. So they're back in the shop. Um, I think that'll be the last restock because I would like to, I'm trying to transition my shop to more of like ready to ship. So I've been, I, I also am discontinuing a bunch of old designs and basically all of the printables are gonna be leaving the shop. I'm gonna move the printables to my Kofi because I think it'll be easier for me to handle it that way. And it'll be less like clutter on my shop page, my regular shop page. But anyway, it's not, it's not important. Uh, but there is a bunch of stuff that is um, gonna be listed under the last chance tab in the shop and there's also a bunch of new stuff in the shop, so if you have time, please, <laughs> please go check it out. I worked really hard on 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 this shop update. I'm really, really proud of it. My social media has been really trash lately. Um, the algorithms have not been kind, and I'm really, really worried <laughs> that no one's going to see my stuff, <laughs> and I worked really hard on it. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. Um, just you know, go take a look, go take a browse. A bunch of stuff is like super cheap right now. It's like two, like all the last chance stuff is like two bucks, so it's real cheap. Um, I figured out a bunch of stuff for shipping to the UK and to the EU. Basically, if you're a UK customer, you can buy things as long as your order is under 135 pounds. Um, we don't have to worry about VAT charges. So. If you're in the UK and you want to buy my stuff, even like the washi tapes and the stuff that has, has to be tracked, you're more than welcome to go buy those things, you know? Just make sure your order's under 135, please and thank you. Um, and yeah, I've been, I've been trying to deal with all of this like international shipping, tax, packaging, fees situation it's fine it's not a big deal it's just really stressful because i'm like one person and i don't understand international shipping laws <laughs> they don't make sense to me i don't really i'm not that smart um yeah all right anyway um i need a break i need to finish up this video and get the shop update ready so that by the time this video comes out <laughs> the shop update is ready to go <laughs> Um, I'm still very happy with my shelves. I will be taking a little bit of a break in May, hopefully. I'm gonna try to try to be better to myself, be a little less stressed, you know, it should be good. Um Yeah. Thank you always so much for watching. Um, thank you for sharing my work. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking the video. If you are one of the people who likes the video, thank you for commenting. If you're one of the people who comments on my videos, that's really cool. Not a lot of people comment. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Just say hi. I don't know. Um, uh, thank you always for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. Thank you for checking out the shop update. I love you so dearly. I will see you so soon in the next video um after after i rested a little all right goodbye friends